We turn now to the latest on the building collapse, a somber night last night in Surfside. A candlelight vigil was held to remember the victims three weeks after the collapse. The memorial walls filled with pictures, messages, flowers, and balloons. This morning, another hearing held about the future of the site as the families of the victims go through this grieving process. CBS 4's Joe Murray is live in downtown Miami with more on what happened. In and we've court. learned that people who live in the other. Good afternoon, Francis. Uh, the hearing lasted about two hours. A lot of discussion today. Uh, mainly, it focused on what should happen to the property going forward. There are a lot of different views. Some people feel it should be a memorial. Some people feel the property should be sold. Some people feel like they want to go back and live in the building. The judge said everything is on the table, but he will make a decision at a later time. As search and rescue work at the Surfside condo collapse nears an end. And I cannot imagine the pain you are feeling, pain that I pray will subside over time. Court hearings into what should happen next are going on nearby in Miami. The property and how victims who lost loved ones and those who lost everything should be compensated, a major point of discussion on Friday. The most painful experience you can have as a lawyer is meeting a family right after a tragedy of this nature. A young family with three children, they all perish, and it's heart-wrenching, and they're beautiful people, and they're all here, and they're dealing with the sequelae and the aftermath. Um, and at the same time, they're trying to organize their legal rights to make sure that they are protected and that justice is ultimately served in this case. Orrin Sitterbaum, who lived in the towers and lost two units, asked for a moment of silence before the judge. Each day just gets a bit easier. Um, you're, you're not sure at first what's going to happen, but then you start getting closer. We've been getting close with our neighbors and the community, and everyone's been helping each other. And it just seems like you're going from a very dark place to a bright light hope down the end of the road. He, like so many others, remained shell-shocked, uh, hoping to come out of the darkness into the light, dealing with this devastation. You just lost everything. What do you do? How do you begin to start over? Again, the judge said when it comes to the property, that's a decision going to be made way in the future. A lot of people are stepping up, offering their services for free. Many renowned realtors, many fundraisers. Another point of discussion today was a memorial, and some people want a memorial at the site. The mayor of Miami Beach sent a letter to the judge offering land in Miami Beach to build a memorial. So that is all still ahead, but the judge did commend the lawyers that everybody is working to together. Everybody at this point is working for free and the judge is very happy about that. He says progress is being made going forward. Insurance policies are coming in. But again, a lot of these big, big decisions, they are still months down the road. Reporting in Miami, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.